Who are your heroes? Who do you want to become, especially in your career or in your business or in terms of a lifestyle hero? I think one of the problems is that so many of us are marketed to by people who appear to have the lifestyle of, 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 you know, of, of the wealthy. They're able to, they appear to be able to travel the world anytime they want and have wonderful experiences. What they don't tell you is that sometimes they just set those uh, experiences up to take Instagram photos and videos to make it look like they're doing that all the time when that's actually quite rare for them. Okay, or they even had to go into debt to, to create some of these so-called experiences. Really, a lot. I, given that I've known some of these people, I know that they they do things like this. But the the real problem that I have with a lot of us following lifestyle businesses, lifestyle brands, is that they create a desire. They create desires within us to have more and more luxuries. And every luxury that we then install into our life, we soon become accustomed to it. And it's no longer a luxury, it be now becomes a necessity, a requirement, okay? You know, before you had a car, you didn't, you know, you, you, well, maybe you came from a family where having cars were necessary, but, but before people had cars, right? Oh, what, my God, the first car, what an amazing thing. Before you had a smartphone or whatever, oh, what a luxury, what an amazing thing to be able to have this around you all. Now it's a necessity, right? Now these are kind of basics in, in, in sort of first world society now. But think about any other thing that you didn't used to have and now you think it's a, it's a requirement, it's a necessity. This is the problem and this is what is uh, sometimes people call the hedonic treadmill, meaning you get some more pleasures that you didn't have before and now they become things that you must have to stay happy. So your requirements for happiness become greater and greater and greater. That's the problem that I have with following lifestyle brands that are tempting you towards, well, you've got to have this lifestyle to be happy. Maybe not, right? Because you didn't have them before. I, I, I hear this all the time from people who have gone to poor countries. I hear this all the time. People go to poor countries and they are very surprised that the poorest people are some of the happiest people that they've ever met. They have nothing and yet they're so happy. When they become less happy is when they start to consume Western media or Northern, Northern media and start seeing, oh, I, I should have these things. Uh, I'm, it's not right that I don't have those things. I should have them. And now they're less happy because they, they're yearning for those things in order to be happy. So even our consumption of these lifestyle brands, whoever you, whoever you follow on Instagram or, or Facebook or, or Twitter or wherever else, or YouTube, you start to think that, that what's, that's what you must have to, in order to be happy. And then it becomes a requirement once you acquire those. Even before you acquire them, you're already less happy because you think that's a requirement. And once you acquire them, you, they become requirements for you and then you need even more to be happy. And so what happens is as you keep going up that, that hill, that, those requirements to be happy, you start, you start needing more and more amounts of money to keep those things in place in your life. And then we start to, or again, even before you have them, the desire for them creates an unhappiness until you make that, amount, that much amount of money. And what happens when you have to make all that money is we start to be tempted to do things that are unethical for us. You start to sell your soul. You start to compromise your highest values because you must make a certain amount of money to be accepted, to be happy, to have those luxuries when in the, fa in, in the past you were perfectly happy not even knowing about those things or not even having them. So be really mindful about the heroes you're following, about the, 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 the thought leaders that you're following, about the celebrities that you're watching and whether or not they're infecting you with their requirements for happiness.